hello guys welcome back to home and creativity with monique um so i'm going to be outside today doing a couple of uh, garden chores and uh, not gonna you know be doing too much of anything but just you know mostly outside things today so if you want to uh, hang out with me and come along with me uh, to do these things then you more than welcome and um, we'll see what else that um, that I can get into all right stay tuned all right this is my large um, my largest um, garden bed here and there are some ant beds that has made themselves home right here in the front part where my cabbage are so I have to dig up my cabbage plants I dug up about four of my cabbage plants and I got three more so um, I'm going to plant those inside of buckets but I do have to um, do something about this ant problem so I got that to figure out. You know, so I just dug up right here and you can just see that they just running wild. So I'm definitely going to have to put some poison down. Um, all the cabbage has been dug up and I put two boards two long boards right here to block off the area where I put the poison it for the ants so um, the ants had created uh, real deeply um, a colony right in this first section of my garden bed and I did attempt to try to dig but the deeper and deeper I dug they was like deep down off in side of the um, garden bed uh, so I had to put some poison down as you can see um, they still dropping out from um, from out of the wood and um, you know they they are um, kind of balling up from the uh, poison. So yeah, I was intending to come to in my backyard to try to straighten it up and clean it up a little bit. And um, and I just came out here to the garden just to water it and um yeah and, and I just saw those ants and I'm going to eventually have to throw that dirt out because it has um some insecticide in it that will kill ants so I don't want any of that to be um you know taking effect on my um my other plants that's trying to grow yep but um once the ants die down from the poison then i'm going to try to remove this soil um out of this bed right here now how did you get up there
Well, that's it for the okra plants. I will be replanting these next year, but not inside my garden bed. Um, I'm going to have to create um, a space for them to be at on their own. So, this is how everything is looking. I have my pepper plant, so I'm about to get ready to dig those up. And I'm going to see if I can overwinter them. Uh, I can let them stay uh, for a little longer um, in my bed, but I think I'm going to go ahead and um, dig them up because um, November is approaching, so they will be um, slowing down on producing uh, fruit because uh, the weather is about to be cooler. I wanted to plug in this insert. Um, this is just like a little short um, insert clip of me taking uh, my seedlings and separating them so I do have um, some healthy seedlings though um, I'm unaware that I may be able to plant them all I didn't want any of these to go to waste so um, I am going to plant some of them in my um, front garden bed that I'm pulling the okra up from um, so I'm just basically I'm just going to separate those seedlings and I'm going to plant um, each healthy looking um, seedling plant inside of its own space. So each seedling will have its own cup to continue to grow and thrive until I can know what I want to do with them. So I'm just putting it in a cup and I'm just you know putting dirt around it to stabilize it and um and i also make sure that i have a drain hole on the bottom of that cup as well but um that's pretty much it it was just me and my daughter we took those seedlings and we just wanted to put them um individually inside of cups so that they could continue to grow healthy and have their own space I have a lot more of my um, seedlings that I didn't get a chance to plant so uh, maybe I'll be able to plant those some of those in my garden bed and I'm not for sure uh, what I'll be able to do with the rest of them I did um, started some seeds for I had to restart seeds for broccoli and Brussels sprouts. These were the only three broccolis that that um came up. So I need more than that. So I just restarted some seeds and uh, hopefully those will sprout up. But these are my collard greens, kale, and cabbage seedlings here.